Here's some bush mechanics for you guys, literally. Got the bike hanging up in the tree just off the saddle. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. So I'm just kind of waking up for the day. It is actually lunchtime. We did have breakfast. I'm sorry you guys missed it. You can probably guess what we had though. It was oats. Surprise, surprise. We just thrown some pasta on. And yeah, if you saw our video yesterday, it was 101 miles, 101 for the 101. And it was also Taylor's biggest ride. We also did like 3,000 feet of elevation, which, you know, over that distance, you know, it's not too crazy, but whatever, for Taylor it is. And yeah, whatever. So we are gonna chill here, taking a rest day, gonna take it easy. Check out this camp. Okay, so there's the tent there. We're in Hiker Biker 61. There's actually a couple other Hiker Bikers just further down the road. But that one was packed last night with like probably at least 10 tents. This one only had one other person in it, so we came back up here. But I mean, check this out, you know. We're like in the Redwoods right now, which is just fantastic. Very different to Australian forest, you know. There's not a lot on the forest floor. Like you see a bit over there, it's just sort of green shrubs. Taylor has just put some lunch on and I'm keen because, I mean, we did only just eat breakfast, but I'm already hungry again. And by the way, this is the Burlington campsite in the Humboldt Redwood State Park. And it's a pretty good little site. There's the little fire pit there, little tree where we've put our bikes, got a food locker. I guess there's bears and other God knows what out here. We are right next to the road though, but it was pretty quiet all night. No one's driving around late at night. Kind of Pretty close to other campers as well, compared to some of the other parks, but that's all right. So uh, it was actually really quiet after about 10 anyway. So although this may look like just normal pasta, we've actually decided to mix things up a little bit. And this is a veggie rotini. Bon appetit, guys. We're eating different. Ooh, variety. So I'm making my way down to the old river trail. I'm gonna go see if we can find it. It's not too far from the camp, at least I hope. And we found our way down here. It's a little river crossing. Gonna go across, check it out. Wasn't too far at all. As you can see, it's pretty damn nice down here. I'm gonna go for a stroll along the river. A lot of the trees through here have kind of like fallen over or split. Look at that. I wonder if that was like hit by lightning or something. That's a big split. Wish I could split wood like that. So I'm just doing the nature trail because you know, why not? Sat down at the river for a while, just hanging out. And we'll see what where this takes us. I'm hoping it takes us back to the camp. How many more trees do you guys want to see? <laughs> These redwoods are awesome. But yeah, probably should film like some bike stuff, huh? Here's another massive tree. These redwoods, they're like the dominant trees of the forest, huh? Just insane. All right, I've done the nature walk. I feel satisfied. I feel like I've done something today. This is just the entrance to the Burlington campground gone back into the site. All right, so I've pretty much just been hanging out all day, just messing around, and I completely forgot that at the end of yesterday, my rear wheel came out of true, and I noticed it was rubbing on the brakes. So I've just remembered, and I've had a look at it, and it's not only rubbing on the brake, it's actually rubbing on the bottom chain stays, on like the, the side of the chain, on the frame, on the tire. So it's actually like a real problem. I'm gonna have a look at it now. I've just got it up in the tree and I've realized that some spokes are broken. Here's some bush mechanics for you guys, literally. Got the bike hanging up in the tree just off the saddle there. And yeah, I mean, just sort of in a position where I can turn the wheel and see, but sort of touching in there, which is a super problem down in there. And then a few, one of the spokes at least, yeah, see that spoke's broken. I've got a, um, what do you call it, nipple, wrench so i'm gonna see what i can do yeah so it's a bit of a fail with this bike actually three broken spokes on the rear wheel one of the guys here he said he might actually have a spoke to fit it but i have to have a look but i don't think i'll be able to change any of the rear spokes because of the cassette obviously i don't have the tool to have you know take the cassette off so without doing that I, yeah, i'm pretty sure i won't be able to do it i'll have a look though i have done it before but what i did was on the pavement i literally ground the, like the head of the spoke that sort of locks into the hub I ground that down into like a V shape and I was able to like fit it through the cassette that way but I mean I don't want to bother to do that it's too much work I'm just worried we might have a total failure 
but I mean I've trued it up now so that's something so many of the spokes were just loose and I mean I don't know it seems to me like they shouldn't have been that loose even if a three spokes were broken let me know in the comments if you know much about wheel building but I mean this is a cheap rim you know, it's an Alex rim Alex rim DA 16 maybe that's my problem besides you know the copious amounts of weight we've got on them yeah so I'm pretty sure spokes aren't really gonna do me much good anyway two are broken on the drive side I don't think I could change those the other ones on the other side maybe I could change it but yeah we got no spokes they don't have any spokes so whatever I'm also having trouble with my um, clip in shoes let me show you so this is pretty much what we're dealing with those are mine and these are Taylor's here for the little size comparison um, mine they're both mountain bike shoes mine I don't know if you can see it it's quite rounded at the front there and Taylor's on the other hand they're like almost new so they're like quite square at the front end there so I'm guessing the reason that my foot keeps slipping out like that I can't clip in like I slip out so easily it's not even a joke so I can only assume it's because they're so worn out if anyone knows just let me know in the comments because I don't really know but I'm guessing that's the problem it could be my pedals but one of my pedals is brand new so it shouldn't be that and I've wound them right up tight as well so I think I'm gonna change these when I get the chance so we've got some food cooking here dinner is gonna be rice three cups and actually we've got two corns there as well check it out getting our two fruit five veg in or at least two veg hey Taylor yes. okay guys I don't feel great about it but I'm gonna throw away my microfiber towel it actually stinks like so bad and it's actually kind of smelt bad since Costa Rica if you've seen my old old bike tours I got something on it there I don't know what some kind of mold and now even after a wash and like a serious wash because my mum has washed this thing and it still stinks after like a couple of days the smell comes back again so I don't even want to use it like I don't use it to clean myself I've been sharing tailors yeah a car came past so anyway it's the end of this towel it seems so wasteful but seriously like you don't want to know like it friggin I'm trying to justify it to myself it really is bad so this is the site just over here and uh as you can see we're like deep in the trees which is pretty cool although about half an hour ago a big branch came down i saw it come down like a few campsites over I didn't hear any screams, so I guess no one was underneath it. But yeah, got me a little bit paranoid about these trees. And we have a meal fit for two now. I'm gonna chuck a bit of this Tabasco on. Taylor did a good job though. Got a bit of corn there. <laughs> I think Taylor just finally cracked today. She spent probably two hours just scrolling on Instagram, looking for different vegan food accounts to follow. But not just vegan, more like McDougal style. If you don't know the McDougal diet, go check it out. Basically, high carb, starch of all, no oil. And yeah, she came up with a few ideas. Because yeah, after like maybe over a year of eating this way, very basic, very simple, we're both feeling like it's time for a change. Well, we have some different challenges with it too because we're eating vegan, but then also we're eating like no oil, very low fat, and we usually don't have a fridge. And now that we're on the bike, we can carry only a very small amount of food. So it makes it kind of complicated just the way we live to even eat right. like interesting meals. I don't know general. if you guys have noticed though, we pretty much <laughs> eat the same out on the bike, bike touring, as we do in the van. So that's got to be saying something, right? Anyway, bon app. Taylor's on to dessert. She's having some checks, which is like breakfast cereal. It's like my fourth bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't cook enough rice, maybe? I mean, we did 100 miles yesterday, so yeah, that's probably why. All right, it's gotten pretty cold. It's about eight o'clock. We're gonna get to bed. The plan is to hit the road by like seven in the morning. Might be like 7.30. So it takes us two hours to get ready. So we'll be up at like five. Thanks for watching the video. Um, yeah, we're actually doing some riding tomorrow. So yeah, hit subscribe, get keen for that. And yeah, if you'd like to give it a thumbs up, leave any comments, you want to know any questions uh, answered about Burlington Campground. And yeah, thanks for watching.